I've had this idea. Double Everest. I thought an Everest was 8,843, but Wikipedia now says 8,849. It's the two of those in a row. Not done a bike ride that big before. So it's going to be interesting. We're going to go from the lake edge, the lowest part you can get before getting wet. And it's going to be up through the bike park via the access road, above the bike park into like the Alpine. There's a saddle which is like a thousand metres vert from the lake. And then descend back through the Alpine, through natural beach forest, and then down the bike park trails and back out to the lake. Each lap's going to be about two and a half hours. I need to do 18 laps. Just turning the pedals. It's just a fucking bike ride. It's just bigger than most. You spend ages talking it down to yourself in your mind to a point where it's the manageable bike ride. It's like looking at something that's expensive again and again until you justify it not being expensive. It's all right. Shall we? Shall we go? Oh, that's not my phone. Shall we go? 20 minutes. It often feels like by the time I get to the day, I've already done it in my head. And then the day's just proving it can be done. Cool, we've got nine minutes, eight minutes. 55, 57, fuck, why can't I just set off on it? 12 o'clock, ride started. Cool, right, best car come. In the bed. I want to do the first few laps on my own. I'm going to need to focus. Riding solo turns the volume up in your head. When it comes to actually doing it, it's very exciting. You just want to get it done as fast as possible. That was like a one hour 45, just excited. Luckily, I didn't keep it up, otherwise it would have been pretty bad. You can feel when you're fit. Once you're on that level, it's like, yeah, you can do anything. At night, you can only two or three metres in front of you, and you've just got the weight and the volume of your mind. Just a lot of just sitting alone with your thoughts can be a great place. Also, it can be a, a horrible place. <laughs> I was all over the place. There are full laps that I can't remember. Where are we up to? I don't know. What's interesting is, as soon as it became light again, your body just kind of goes into day mode. I can't believe the difference between this lap and two times ago. It's night and day. Literally. The descent's fantastic but it is going to be more than just trying to loop out a fast Everest in some dead pine on a fire road. How oh, good! You spent like an hour and a half climbing and you got 30 minutes of descending down black trails. On the last part of the climb, it's a walking path as well as a cycling path, and uh, quite often you'd have a, you know, you're, you're almost there, and I'm thinking, fuck, if only you knew. But you're just like, yeah, yeah, that's right. You're exposed and in the sun for an hour and a half every lap. So we had a really important food bag on the last piece of shade and that bag was taken. This couple came along and was like, what are you doing? I was like, I fucking had a bag here full of food and I really need it. So they gave me some baby food. That's what powered me up that one. That's pretty sketchy at the minute because it's so, so hot. Like, I worry that I'm going to give myself sunstroke. That was gnarly, that last lap. I was just pouring. As soon as you start feeling heat stroke, you're done. Like, in bed for a week. I've got work on Wednesday. Could ask for Wednesday off though. I don't want to like disrupt the status quo just for my stupid things. My marmite and peanut butter wraps a bit of a disaster. I've had one. Next lap's Everest. Lap after that's 10,000. I worked it out, this time tomorrow will be done. Let's not get too excited because it'll feel like I've finished. So today I've been doing some laps of skyline, uphill, <laughs> inspired, I guess, by Ben. And I just realized today he's doing like two Everest, which is crazy, because I'm preparing myself to do just one Everest. It's cool to have a legend like downtown that I can look up to. 
I told him to message me so I can do a lap with him. So cool. In Queenstown, if you do jumps, you've got the biggest jumps. And if you do tech, you've got the best in the world. If you want to pedal, the scene's just mad for it and everyone supports each other. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is still wet from this morning. How good! Oh. Just ticked over 9,000. Oh. Oh. oh, so sleepy. Really felt it, that lap. Just, just like almost unsafe. I think I could just go out like a light as well and just set a timer for 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Here did night shift. I reckon it's probably the toughest part of the mission for Dan, so. Stop him swerving around too much. It was a very stark difference. The last lap during the day was with a huge crew. And it was only me left at the bottom. See you in the morning. Annie and Jamie got me through the second night. It was a rough time. I'm trying to pace a bit back in there. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Hello. Are you still human? Just about, Doc. Just about. Had um, a very slow night it's been pretty mental just falling asleep like as soon as i if i shut my eyes like that fall off my bike climbing up the hill see lots of like posts and shit that look like people and a deer in a, in a tree right next to where the water is you still seem quite with it yeah i wasn't a few hours ago i couldn't stand up i've fallen asleep on the bike before doing something similar to this Sometimes I was trying not to blink because I thought that if I was to blink, I would have fallen asleep. And a few times I sat down and I did instantly fall asleep. Start of video. Can't believe how tired I was. Feels so close, but so far still. It's mad. Proper like dream world is uh, part of that like, reality world. Really? I thought there was like a moat in front of me. A what? I swerved to avoid what looked like a moat, crystal clear, but it was just a flash. Oh my god. I'm not sure what I think about electrolytes. I've used that toilet up the top like every other lap. I didn't take any bug all up there last time. Needs must. You can never doubt yourself. Otherwise, if you harbour those thoughts, then they'll take over. It was always going to happen. Like, regardless. A couple of months ago, I rode 10,000 miles. He did 10,000, 10 hours quicker than me. 10 hours. <laughs> Superhuman. It's been good watching Ben suffer. I've enjoyed that immensely. <laughs> and I've been suffering in the past couple of laps. This one's been fantastic though. I've well enjoyed this one. I took over 14 before 12, most of the way 17 by 6. And then the last 700 metres. Go home, have a shower. Put telly box on. I'm gonna get on to 14 before 12. No, no, no. You right? Heart rate. Look at that. <sighs> Fucking hell. That went from 68 to 176. Like, that doesn't look like a heart rate, does it? <sighs> okay, mega. I'm absolutely fine now. Just like feel normal. But I feel proper exhausted for like the next few hours.
it's like I've just done like an intense workout for 10 minutes, you know? Which isn't the most ideal thing right now. You need all your energy to keep going. It kind of gets overwhelming when you met with groups of people on the climb. Didn't really have the energy to give them the gratitude that they deserve. I just want to be on my own. So close now, less than 3k away. It got really warm and I was always worried about getting heat stroke. Fortunately, Callum grabbed a 10 litre water container and took it to the top for me in his camera bag. So that was a godsend. Let's just, uh, let's get this one out of the way. That was a tough couple of laps. I told myself I wasn't going to sit on that bench until the last lap as a treat. I want to sit on the bench. I haven't sat on the bench yet any laps. I thought the last one to time I was going to sit on the bench, I would think, for five minutes. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. Um, and then get picked up by a helicopter, hey eh, Jamie? Let's <laughs> <laughs> just go and get this last lap done. All right, how's it going? How's it going? I was looking forward to the company on the last full lap. It was really nice to enjoy that one with everyone. I still had some energy left, so I uh, thought I'd try and spin it off. I was hoping for a bit of a race. Nobly bit. He's <laughs> not. <laughs> At least I beat Johnny on his e-bike. I wonder whether this elevation thing's a bit of a broken record now. At the minute, I'm quite content. But give it another month or so, and I'll probably have another idea. Every year it's got to be harder than the year before. It's just getting out of hand. I think he is insane. <laughs> In the best way. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> what a crazy couple of days. Never had sleep deprivation like that. Never hallucinated. Never ate baby food. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Not well, even when you were a I baby. was a baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Oh, Wow, my leg doesn't go that high. <laughs> 450 meters to go. <laughs> So, 
Um, I don't know. Just get something in your head, don't you?